So guys, it is time to do a movie tier list and th this is just going to be, well, I had like 40 pictures but you know, it'll, we'll have to do with 32 and you know, it's going to be an interesting list because it's just mainly movies that I've watched a few times. So yeah. Obviously, we got S, which is the best, and then D, which is worse. Alright, so, let's see. So, for D, I already know which movies I'm going to put there. And maybe, when I'm putting more, I'll change it. But D, uh, Rise of Skywalker. While I didn't like how the movie looked, the story felt way too rushed, and a lot of things just didn't make sense. And, you know, it's that's just the truth. And uh, yo, if you like it, hey, that's your choice. I don't really care. Um, and what else are we going to put in D? Uh, what other movie? Some of the picks are not really, you know, at scale, but that's alright. So, Seventh Sun is going to go here. I think I might change Seventh Sun. But compared to all the other movies, this one is, you know, out of their league. So, that's why I'm putting it there. So Seventh Son, I saw that movie with my dad, and honestly, it was actually a, a good movie. But you know, it uh, compared to all the other movies, it seems to be, to me, it seems unfair if I would put it at like B tier or something like that. So, uh, what else are, am I gonna put there? Now I think I'm done for D tier. So C tier, we're gonna put Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tell No Tales. So Dead Man Tell No Tales, I actually enjoyed that movie, but there were obviously a lot of stuff that didn't really make sense to me. Uh, like for example, that I thought that, well, you know, if you didn't didn't watch the movie yet, that's your problem. But I thought that the, the the curse or the thing with Davy Jones was just a thing. But in that movie they name they call it a curse or some shit like that. Or it's just some stuff that didn't really make sense to me. And obviously Jack isn't the same like the other movies. So it's like meh to me. And I didn't choose the fourth because it's actually better than the fifth one. But still I enjoyed it so doesn't really matter to me. Uh, what else am I going to put in C tier? Yes, Son of a Gun. So Son of a Gun is, again, another movie that I enjoyed, but it's just a really long movie, in my opinion. Uh, I think, let me really do a quick check on how long it actually is. The, in my opinion, it could have easily been way shorter than it already is. Because the, the story in a nutshell is, the, the guy that you see on the right of the picture, which is Brendan Twaits, or however you say it, gets in prison because of something he did, and then he gets in trouble in prison, but Ewan McGregor uh, helps him, and he has to, in return, he has to get him out of prison. But there's just too much bullshit that happens, you know? So I think they could have easily, so it says 1 hour and 44 minutes, I think they could have easily made it one, one and a half hour and trimmed a lot of stuff that happened in the movie. I feel like they could have easily done that. Uh, C tier Outsider. Let me really check on how long that movie is. So Outsider is basically, let me put the story for you in a nutshell. Also a guy in prison, but he helps a guy that belongs to the Yakuza. And so the guy from the Yakuza uh, helps him out of prison, and then the, after a lot of bullshit, the guy become, gets into the Yakuza too, and a lot of other bullshit happens, which is not really important. But yeah, the movie is two hours long, which is, for what happens in the movie, really too long, in my opinion at least. But I did enjoy it. It's just that the first time I watched it, I really liked it, but the second time I was like really bored and I skipped through a lot of it. So another, let's see, what else am I going to put in C tier? Uh, 
Uh, no, I think I'm done with C tier. So, from B, uh, you know, honestly, I'm someone that's easily amused. So, pretty much, I like every movie that's on this list. But, you know, I'm not going to put every movie on the same tier because it wouldn't be fair to that movie. So, next movie I'm going to put on B tier is Spider-Man. So, I really like that movie. And it's basically my childhood. I watched it with my brothers and that stuff. So, I really liked it. And it, it, in my opinion, it was a really good movie. But obviously, when I rewatched it a few times, you begin to see some flaws. So, yeah. It doesn't... Well, while a lot of stuff does hold up for this time... A lot of other stuff doesn't. So what else am I going to put on C tier? E, let's see. I'm trying to balance it a bit. So let's put the Phantom Menace on. Uh, no, fuck that. At, no, definitely not on D tier. Attack of the Clones. So the Attack of the Clones is, in my opinion, a really good movie. I really liked it, especially when I first saw it. And the thing, I think the first time I actually saw it was like uh, on TV when they still uh, played the Star Wars movies on like the TV uh, channels. And I really enjoyed it. I actually really did enjoy the movie. And then when I rewatched it a couple of times, you begin to see the flaws, but still, I really liked it. Alright, what other movies? So, in my opinion, let's see which, which parts of the Caribbean movies are on the list too. I all the all the other threes are there too. Okay. So on B tier I'm gonna put no is that Deadman's Chest? Yeah Deadman's Chest. So Deadman's Chest is in my opinion a really good part of the Caribbean movie. It's just that it has well not not that it's bad necessarily because it really contains a lot of lore which is important. But it just feels a bit too long. You know I think they could have easily cut some of the scenes shorter but then again there's also a lot of deleted scenes on YouTube which I feel like could easily be included to the movie and maybe then remove some clutter like some of the scenes that I'm like nah keep it there <laughs> so what other movie damn that's still a lot of movies that I need to put on the list uh, Let's put, so, I think it's hard to see which one is, so this is Fellowship of the Ring, this is the Two Towers, I guess, yeah, I'm going to put Two Towers here, so, Lord of the Rings, probably also one of my favorite uh, movie franchises, but I did enjoy the other Lord of the Rings more than I did this Lord of the Rings, this one, I don't know, I honestly don't remember it much, but I do remember it being less enjoyable than the other Lord of the Rings. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. So oh wait, never mind, I forgot one for the D tier, which is Daredevil, 2003. So uh, I watched this I think with my brothers or plus my mother, I don't remember. But I remember it being really good when I was a kid. And then I rewatched it, I still thought it was good. And that was, you know, a few years later and then another amount of years later you know, it wasn't that good anymore. I really didn't enjoy it that much. And some of this stuff just doesn't make sense. But yeah, overall, it definitely belongs to the D tier. Though I definitely don't think... No, nah, never mind. So, what else on uh, B tier? Oh yeah, Never Back Down. So, Never Back Down is a pretty good movie. Definitely better than the sequels that came after it i i didn't really like those i like this one though it was a really good movie and uh, it's basically you know it has to do with mma you should i won't spoiler the story for you just go watch it yourself yes next movie i'm gonna put here is eight mile movie directed by eminem so eight mile is a really good movie I'm feeling like I'm starting every movie with that same sentence, but it's just that I, I pretty much like every movie on this list. 
just that you know it's it's hard to judge which move you should be where you know so i liked eight mile especially in the time when i was really listening to a lot of eminem music now obviously as you probably have noticed when you see me on discord i've switched over to uh, to mac miller which is now my favorite artist but obviously i still listen to eminem sometimes um but yeah it was a pretty good movie i won't spoil the story for you just go watch it yourself it's pretty good what movie next and i'm not putting this by the way in a in no order which movie i enjoyed more i'm just putting it random in case you were wondering uh i think i might get bashed for this by people but i'm gonna put pulp fiction here so pulp fiction is definitely a good movie a very good movie but it's just that the other movies that are on this list i just enjoyed those more than pulp fiction Sorry man, I just enjoyed those more. Alright, next movie, and I think it's also the last one for B tier. It's uh, Devil All The Time, which was recently released, I think. In August, I think. I don't know. Doesn't matter. But uh, yeah, I really like this movie. Uh, it, has a, it had a lot of like uh, criticism on it, I think. But I really liked it. Tom Holland is in this one. And he does a pretty good job uh, in his role. But yeah, definitely, since it's definitely a movie from this year, I won't spoiler anything. So yeah, definitely should watch that. Alright, so let's see. Any movie that I should throw in B tier? Nah, I'm going to go over to A tier. So A tier is going to be hard for me because all these movies that are on this list, I pretty much like all of them. So I'm going to start with, I guess, Lord of, both of the Lord of the Rings. They belong to A tier. Because I really enjoyed the first and the last movie of the Lord of the Rings. Honestly, it, it hasn't been that long since I watched them, but I just don't remember that much of them. Maybe because they're so long, they're like three hours. I do, well, I do know that there's like a lot of lore in the books and maybe some other stuff. I really do think that they could have cut some of the time down, but yeah, it's still I enjoyed every minute of it as I can as I recall correct. So next, Troy. Really good movie. It's pretty old already, I think. But to be honest, I won't spoil it that much. You should really watch, watch go watch it for yourself. I think it's on on Netflix. Uh, no, it isn't. That's a shame. But anyways, yeah, you should definitely go watch that. And and it has Brad Pitt in it, and he's really good in that movie. So it's definitely worth your while. Uh, next, I'm going to put Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is my favorite Indiana Jones movie. Now, I know someone told me that the movie looked old, but honestly, all this movie uses, and the others, up to the fourth one, because the fourth one is a CGI movie, not not fully CGI, but you know it uses CGI effects. But this one, that till the third, uses uh, a lot of practical effects, which I really like about Indiana Jones movies. It's uh, pretty much also what keeps me hooked to it, you know. Yeah, so I definitely recommend that to watch, and I think it's on Netflix now. Yeah, it's actually on Netflix. So the the first one and the second one, and the second one is really good too, and it has this Asian kid in it, and that kid is so funny in that movie. Not gonna lie. Uh, which movie should I put there next? Alright, let's put Phantom Menace in here. So Phantom Menace, in my opinion, I know a lot of people bash the prequels, but fuck them. I really like that movie. That's all I have to say about it. Uh, next, I'm going to put Green Mile. So Green Mile, I honestly, I don't want to spoil it too much because all these movies are so good. And Green Mile, well, I'll just put it in a nutshell, basically. So uh, Green Mile, it's about a death row called Green Mile. And then 
people obviously they get the death sentence go there and then this big black guy gets into prison there and also gets the death sentence for supposedly murdering kids I think and you know he's innocent but apparently he also has a, a sort of superpowers which allows them, him to take pain away from others which uh, plays a really big part of the story but yeah that's basically the story in a nutshell next Shutter's Island so Shutter's Island is such a good fucking movie it's on Netflix too if I'm correct and no it isn't that's a big shame but yeah anyways Shutter's Island is a really good movie and uh, around the end so you should really pay attention to it when you're gonna watch it there's a big plot twist and basically what the story is in a nutshell I won't spoil it too much it's just basically that a inmate from like a, a asylum has escaped so I think Leonardo DiCaprio is a, a detective and he's gonna find out where's where the person is that's that's really a really quick description of the movie not gonna lie alright next I'm gonna put Saving Private Ryan because it's a really good movie and obviously everyone knows it not gonna lie if you're old enough to see it and you haven't watched it yet come on man go a fucking head and watch that shit alright next one is The Last Samurai so The Last Samurai I got a little story for that one so when I was very young in the, at an age that where I shouldn't be watching these movies I watched this movie and I remember it being so cool so, but I only saw the beginning sequence and I remember that when I got older I always remembered that movie very faintly like in the back of my head and always I was like Bro, I want to know what that movie is. I want to finish it, you know. I want to finish watching it because I never was able to finish it. And then I heard the name 47 or 49 Ronin, which is a movie with Keanu Reeves, I think. And I thought, bro, is that the movie? And I watched it and I was like, shit, no, it isn't. And then I was at the aunt at her place. And she gave me a few DVDs and I looked for them and I saw this movie and I was like, bro, this is it. This is it. And I watched it and bro, I was so happy when I was finally able to watch it. Because maybe y'all never had it, but it's really annoying when you have watched something but you couldn't finish it all these years. I'm pretty sure I've waited like more than 10 years to be able to finish it. So it was a really satisfying feeling to be able to watch it. So what movie next at world's end at world's end is probably uh, one of my favorite parts of the Caribbean movies it's really long uh, I think it's a bit too long but I don't mind it being that long if I'm really getting bored I just skip through it, to be honest because I'm, I'm pretty sure I watch those movies more than I watch Star Wars which is also a surprise because I really like Star Wars but yeah that's really it okay moving to S tier all these movies are S tier so Pirates of the Caribbean Hateful Eight uh, the last few Star Wars films that I got here uh, Shawshank Redemption definitely definitely and then uh, Into Shabbos or Intouchables so Pirates of the Caribbean uh, Curse of the Black Pearl is probably one of my favorite movies of all time I really like that movie it's really good and honestly if you haven't watched the whole series yet bro what are you waiting for man go watch it go watch it go watch it illegal go watch it legal go watch it on Netflix if they have it probably not uh, go watch it on some I don't know man just go watch it find a way to watch it because you should watch it uh, next the hateful eight the hateful eight it's a really really long movie let me search it up really quick so the hateful eight is two hours and 47 minutes long it's a quentin tarantino movie 
which which already you know should show some reputation on how good or how bad it could be but it's really good and yeah you should watch it it's really good man and then we have uh star wars episode 5 i don't have much to say about that movie to be honest. i'm pretty sure everyone has seen that shit it's really good then we have uh a new hope oh i have a new hope two times i see well let's just say that's return of the jedi well return of the jedi really good movie not much to say about it to be honest revenge of the sith pretty sure I'm not sure to be honest. I I'm, I really keep battling between Revenge of the Sith and Return of the Jedi, but I'm, in my opinion, Revenge of the Sith is like the best Star Wars movie. But I enjoy all of them, except the last three. Well, I do and I did enjoy uh, Force Awakens, but the last two are are kind of meh. <laughs> and then we have A New Hope. Not a good movie. Shawshank Redemption, I saw that one with my father, really good movie, you should totally watch that, let me, yeah, it's on Netflix, you you can watch it on there if you have Netflix, legal, legal, bro, I don't care how you watch it, just watch it, uh, Into Shabbat, and I never thought of it as that movie, but it's legit, uh, my favorite movie of all time the best movie in my opinion of all time is the only movie that can keep me laughing i'm sorry if i'm if my english be bad but it's the only movie that keep me laughing for like a long period of time like everything that that is supposed to be funny makes me laugh so yeah so i hope you guys like this tier list um uh, yeah, this is my opinion on these films. Obviously, this is not all the films that I've watched. All this. Otherwise, we would be busy for uh, 40 minutes, like in the tier list for my favorite games. So, yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, boys. See you later.